I was given this really nice piece of artwork from a, a friend of mine and I wanted to go ahead and frame it. I bought this frame at a thrift store for two dollars so I th think it worked nicely with this piece of artwork so I'm gonna go ahead and cut a new mat to fit this frame and this piece of artwork. First we're gonna have to do some math. The frame is 14 inches wide 14 inches and the artwork is 6 inches wide so 14 minus 6 is 8 inches and so the border total is going to be so divided by 2 equals 4 inches so the border on either side will be 4 inches it's 11 inches tall minus the artwork is uh, five and a half inches tall, so that equals 5.5 inches divided by two equals 2.75 inches. So that's the border at the top and the bottom will be two and three quarter inches. I've got my easy mat mat cutter here and I'm going to use that to go ahead and cut my mat. I've cut a piece of uh, mat board that is uh, 11 by 14 inches, uh, which is the, uh, the front. That's the front. So I'm going to have the front side down. So this is the back. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. There's on either side here, there's, there's little holes here. And so this hole here is four inches, and then I'll put them on the first peg over here. So, um, so put the four inch there. And just to double check it to show, um, get my tape measure here. And this four inches is just very slightly past this, which is fine. Um, it's about an eight, four inches. There's just this, the edge of this comes to about eighth inch of, short of four inches. The reason being, as I cut in as an angle with the mat cutter, the it'll be about eight inch wide to where that lip comes. So anyway, that's just where I want it. So I'll push this in, and I'll do a line here. I'm going to flip it over to the other side because the other side's going to be the same, four inches. Just like that. So now I'm going to do these, and these should be two and three quarters. So I'm going to set those to right there would be two and a half inches. But if I go up just to there, uh, let me see. Because uh, I have two, then two and a half inches, and then each one of this, this is be two and a half inches. And then each one of those is another eighth of an inch, so this is two and a quarter inches right there, or, or two, two and three quarter inches. So, do that. And write that. And so that's where the, the artwork was going to sit, like right there. Boom. So then, let me see, is that going to do, uh, I might just go just a little bit farther. Yeah. I'm going to come in just a little bit farther on that one. Go to the inside lines. Okay, that'll look good. That'll look good because the cuts are actually going to be to about eighth inch inside each of these lines there. So now they have that in place. I might as well go ahead and do the cuts right now. So I have my Altos Deluxe hand cutter right here, and there's the blade. And so I'm going to use this to cut. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut from this line to this line. And the, the point of this razor blade, I'm going to stick right into this line right here. How I'm going to do it is I'm going to put this front edge 
up against the little gate there, but I'm going to leave this side back just sl very slightly away from the gate. And as I push down, I'm going to push in so that the point of this blade goes into the mat at an angle. But like right, right on this line there. So, there, and then I push it in, and I'll be pushing in against the gate, and I'm going to push it this way, holding into the gate and pushing down, and I'm going to want pressure because I want to cut through the mat, and I'm going to cut to right to, there's a little notch I'll show you here, on right in front of the razor blade, and I'll cut, push along this until it hits that line there. There. So this little notch right here in front of the, when that hits this line, then I stop. Now I've got that cut. I'm going to flip this over this way and do the same thing on this side. Push this against there and get the blade here and I'll push it in at an angle. Boom, push it against the gate, push down and then cut forward until I hit that line there. So I got those two cuts. Now I'm going to do these other two cuts here and those are four inches. So I'll get the four inch holes on those pegs. And I'm going to do the same exact thing here. So I have, I'm going to use, again, I'm using those inside lines that I cut, drew the second time. Front edge against there. Push the razor blade down and in. Push against the gate. Then I'll flip it over. And I'll do this side. that over. There's the part out there. There's my nice mat. And there's my artwork. That'll look real nice.